Hi, this is Becky Vardaman with Converge. I'm going to spend a couple minutes today going through um, another one of the dashboards from the seven helpful Google Analytics dashboards that Ryan posted back in January. So we've already done AdWords. Go look for that video. We're looking at um, the campaign tracking dashboard today. If you haven't done campaign tracking or if you're not familiar with it, let me give you a quick overview. Campaign tracking is basically a great tool within Google Analytics that um, allows you to append a couple of different parameters, the source, the medium, and the campaign, to any URL that you're putting out into the world trying to drive people to your website. So it's really good for things like social media, um, any advertising you're doing. It's wonderful for email marketing. Um, and instead of just knowing that, hey, this thing, this person came from Facebook, we can also put a campaign around it so we know exactly what type of content they were on as they came to our site. So if you haven't already started doing this, we definitely recommend it. Um, there's actually a link here for a post that gives you a little bit more information on how to do it. Um, if you are already doing it, go grab this dashboard and let's go see what kind of information we can get. So um, go ahead and click on the link if you want to download it and add it to the view of your choice. I've already got that done. And let's see what kind of information comes in when you've got an active site like ours. So the left column here is going to be um, all wide open. If you click on this edit link, you can see that these things are showing um, only showing campaigns that match the regular expression, which and this regular expression means everything. So if you wanted to and you wanted to look at just a really specific campaign, you could drop that information, whatever the campaign name is, into that widget in that location. For our purposes, we're just going to leave it open and, and look at all campaigns together. So here we have the users and the sessions um, of all people coming to the site through any different campaign. We also have the um, sessions and average session duration by user type. So whether it's a new visitor or a returning visitor and the amount of time that they spend. We do often see that the returning visitors are spending more time, at least on our site. We also have pages per session, so you can see when the engagement really picks up on these. We also have um, the different metro areas down here. So areas around the country uh, where people are coming to your site. There are other options for this. You can do state, you can do country, um, you can even do city. We like to do metro areas, especially um, like on the East Coast where some of those suburbs are right on top of each other. The metro area seems to give us better data. The center column here is going to give you um, the sessions and new sessions, percent new sessions by the specific campaign. So this is the thing that I mentioned that we can actually tell Google this is, you know, for Converge 2017, our conference, versus um, whether it's a newsletter list, etc. So it helps us understand, and it should help you understand, if you break out your marketing by these different channels and by these different campaigns, which ones are doing the best and how you can create more success. Here is the same thing, but by source. So this is going to be, source is kind of the quote unquote brand name. So you see things like Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, the websites that are getting referrals. That, that's this list. Right below here we have the visualization of the geography of where the people are coming from. So it's tied to this chart here. In the right column, um, we have both the source and the medium with the number of sessions and the percent new sessions. Um, this is great because it allows you to see kind of at a glance, um, for instance, Facebook social versus Facebook CPC. Being Having those two elements layered together helps you understand that this is the organic social coming from Facebook, but the ads are doing this well. And then below here, we're going to look at the highest level bucket, the medium. So the number of sessions and the percent new sessions from the biggest bucket that we can do. So whether it's organic email, referral, um, paid, social media, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's really where we're going to understand which channel is doing the best work for us and converting the most and driving the most traffic. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.